yo 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 guys it's one in the morning i am doing some editing and this is the the video you've been waiting for um it's me bash this is the foundry tutorial we're gonna go through it real quick here i got this sped up i'm gonna try and do this so activate your boost before entering um all you gotta do i'm a substitute here so first of all substitutes can't enter for the first three minutes um, R5s and R4s, when you get in there, label your teams. So make the labels all over. So now we're going to press to enter battlefield. I screwed up here. I have wounded. So you got to go to the infirmary. You got to heal before you enter the foundry map. So we're going to heal and I'm going to join real quick here. All right. So press for overview of the map. We're going to see the map. First control points are awarded to the team that captures and holding holds the building for a lot of time. I focus on prototype, then central transit, then boiler room, then f repair facilities. Prototype building, first control, 6,000 points and 3,000 points. Ongoing control, 1,200 and 600 per minute. That's big, guys. That's a lot of points. Um, secondary, we're going to go repair facility, 3,000 and 1,500, and then 600 a minute and 300 a minute. That's really big as well. So now we're going to jump right to the central transit station. The bonus for 50% cooldown on teleports. This is huge. 1200, 600, 240 minutes, uh, 240 points, and 120. Same with the boiler room. Uh, reduces control time needed to capture buildings by 50%. Big later on. First control points are critical. Pay attention to the building timers. You'll see them for see right here. It's full control in 10 seconds. Uh, Imperial Foundry, Munitions, and Mercenary Camp cannot be controlled until after the first 15 minutes of battle. So keep an eye on that. Um, you can see I'm going to protect buildings for the first control points right off the get. I'm, I'm just protecting, right? Um, you know, you can't get them all. Uh, we like to hop around on the battlefield. That's why we like the transit station. Teleports are... are uh, are possible but you got to keep spending more gems to use them the strategy of our competition they set up kind of like different sections of the map and uh, they could rally more quickly together and take control of the building so d1 uh, not bad strategy uh, it worked a lot um, you can see here Sirota defeated me and pony and pony is really no joke either so uh, shout out to Sirota um, some quick tips here. Troops can't die in the foundry, so don't worry. Only three, 30 combatants and 10 substitutes. Um, you're in 40 points per 110, I uh, sorry, per 10,000 troops power defeated and 80 points for 10,000 points on offense. At the start of the match, you get one free advanced teleporter. This will uh, recover in time, guys. Um, if you leave the match, there's a 12 minute cooldown period to rejoin the battle. As stated before, use the labels to let alliance members know where to look to gather points after attacks. Uh, that's really critical. So um, going back to the personal points, um, sometimes uh, defending versus offense. Offense, you get more points. As stated, it was 10,000 power of troops, not 10,000 troops, but the power of troops. So if, if you're defeating people even in their towns, you'll get personal points. And some of you guys care about those personal points for rankings. And uh, a lot of you guys be waiting for PvP. Um, defense is only 40 points per 10,000 power defeated. So just think about that, guys. Um, defense is less points personally. But at the same time, this is an alliance uh, PvP. It's not personal PvP match. This is the foundry. This is for your team. So don't get too selfish, but uh, I know a lot of us have been waiting to attack each other. So ongoing occupation points are shown above the buildings. They aren't locked in until the end of the foundry battle. So remember that just because you're seeing the points at the top, that doesn't mean those points are yours. This is very critical. If an enemy forces knocks you out of the building, the points are scattered nearby. And you must, must collect them using scouts. I'll show an example of this shortly here. So here it is. Uh, we're going to loot for points. You can see me come in, and then it pops up right here. D1 does a good job here. Um, I feel like they did better uh, at gathering at that point. But now with the foundry open, strongest players are probably going to relocate and try to occupy it for the first control. Um, D1 went right away. 
I was paying attention to the timer here. I had 20 seconds to spare. Um, first control points, 9,000, 4,500, 1,800 per minute, and 900 per minute. That's big. So if you stay in there, you're going to get lots of points, guys. Um, munitions, troop damage boost plus 15%, troop damage reduction minus 15%. That's big for later on in the battles. Same amount of points as uh, the transit station. Uh, mercenary attacks against an enemy building. I'm going to show an example of this later on. Same thing, same amount of uh, points as transit station and boiler room. Uh, it's kind of critical, that building, in tight, close matches. Uh, especially if you don't want a bunch of wounded. Because uh, remember guys, uh, there's no tap, tap, tap healing. So you can see, I'm looking all over the map using this... Uh, just that map up top there. I'm seeing who has control of the building, so use that, pay attention. Blue's yours, red's the opposition, so just tap around, check them out. You always check the rallies too and where it's getting attacked, but uh, I really like the map because you can kind of see what's happening. You can even see the points on there. They're yellow, and that's when a building's kind of being taken down. Uh, either your team took someone down or they uh, knocked you guys from your building. So here we go real quick, phase three. After Foundry opens, weapon workshops appear. You can gather points here. Um, we did a pretty good job in this match against D1 gathering. They did better job looting, um, but our gathering did good. So pay attention to this scoreboard. You're going to see us lose points in red. Right here it goes 105. We're going to drop down to like 96,000. Uh, this is them kicking us from a building, and you can see the green pop up here. Uh, that's them looting points faster than us. So they prepared for this. It was good. Uh, D1 did a really good job there. So guys, that's critical. As long as you can kick someone from the building. I've been kicked from the building. Penny's been kicked from the building. So people can do it. Um, so for tanks, the element of surprise helps. You're going to see me here jump over. And I'm going to loot like crazy, right? So they're not prepared to loot. So I come in and I probably gather most of the points up very quickly because they had no idea I was rallying or there was no rally. So with strong players can kind of come in, knock these out. Um, sometimes you'll fail, you know, because 150,000 versus 900,000 doesn't work. So let's look quickly at these mercenary attacks. It's basically equal to 10% injured total troops. So that's pretty big guys because it attacks quite often and it looks a lot like when 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 it's going down it looks a lot like the sunfire castle and i'm pretty sure you guys know how bad those turrets hurt and the same thing's going on in the foundry battle so just kind of think about that that you might want that mercenary camp protected so uh, some bash tactics here i love pvp i know you guys love pvp uh when you have a pest smack them hard and send him to the hospital because he can't he he can only use speed ups remember that so uh three pick off he's a beast he was attacking a lot of my players so i got called in and uh, i finally went and attacked him so kind of dealt with him sirota was uh definitely uh, their mvp but uh she was very all over the place grabbing grabbing buildings so and Pillar of Foundry is the key to winning, so make sure you hop back. Remember, you don't acquire the points till the end if you control the building. If you lose the building, you lose the points. So you can have it right from the start, get knocked out, and lose all those points. Those points mean nothing. Personal points count, but alliance points don't, and then all of a sudden your team loses. So just remember that, guys. Um, D1, this uh, Foundry battle was fun. We liked it. I wish both teams had full uh, teams. Um, please like the video, guys. It helps me out a lot. Hoping for some subs. Uh, the more subscriptions. I got some more stuff coming up here. Um, Bash Brother 2 is going to be releasing some stuff. So, yeah. Uh, like I said, give a follow. Share it. Uh, hopefully you guys learned something. D1 was being a beast here. Uh, I almost ran out of, uh, well, I did run out of infantry, so they came very close of knocking us out here. Um, I did not want to use gems or speed ups. 
I don't really recommend it. So far, the return isn't great. The MVP of the battle, Sirota, did it. Unreal. Um, came she he or she was a lot on the offense, so those personal points probably added up. Like I said, 10,000 troop power. That's how you guys are going to get the MVP. If you guys want the MVP, you got to go on the offense. You stay on defense, you're not going to get the uh, MVP of the battle. And attacking people's towns help too, because troop power, you know. So um, I'm not sure if I broke it down here. Hopefully, uh, I, I am checking, because I know I am pretty low on infantry. And uh, when it comes right here, see, no more infantry. And guys, they can knock you out because the infantry is the first casualty. So if they have a balanced lineup versus an unbalanced lineup, very possible. But we made her through here. There's going to be a scoreboard here. So we'll look real quickly here. So my, our gathering rewards beat them. Their loot rewards, they did better. Uh, founder control, I was in there from the start and protecting it. So it was kind of hard for them, but, you know. Shout out to them. Shout out to Sirota one last time. Personal arsenal points. I haven't been keeping track. I like to see a leaderboard on that. KO points, 510 for me. Um, building control, I was all over the place. If you stay in a building longer, you're going to get more building patrol. Gathering points, guys. Looting and those, those buildings. You'll get lots of points if you gather, and that's how you get lots. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you for watching, and hopefully keep pushing more content to you guys. Cheers. Have a good one.